39 years old and I've literally never won anything. That is until this morning when these came through the door. Things are looking up. So it's a beautiful spring evening, perfect for a ride out with the fellas. I reckon it could be a good turnout tonight. Makes a change to have sunshine in the UK. A little bit of wind, we'll see how the lads get on. Back out on the Tuesday night chain gang. Really good crowd of lads out this week. Um, big numbers, uh, loads of guys out in the fast group as you can see from the footage here. A long line of wheels to follow. A bit concerned about the number of guys wearing shorts though, it was pretty cold out there. See some of the familiar faces and some old stalwarts like Mr Andrews there coming through. Mudguard's still on, he knows it's early season. So there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about uh, this week. Uh, the first one was just a, a little bit more information about riding technique uh, in a chain gang. I know I spoke about this quite a bit last week and how to change and follow the wheel through off the back. Um, but it's just a, another couple of bits, just want to uh, clear up on that. And the other bit is um, riding at pace on uh, on hills. Uh, it doesn't normally bother us as flatlanders down here in Essex, um, but uh, it's a skill that's uh, that's useful and um, and uh, one of the guys could probably benefit from, from learning from. So there we go. Um, so Soup is in front of me, um, following him through and uh, Probably a little bit slower than the previous week this. Uh, similar again, we've got the wind coming from our right. So this week we're doing things properly. We're changing on the inside, which can be a little bit more difficult because uh, the guys have got to allow you sufficient room to come through. But it means the guys that are working, they're on the fast side of the pace line, are sheltered from the wind. And that makes a, a big difference uh, coming through there at just over 300 watts. So just moving along uh, a little bit further down the the, uh, the route here and you can see the groups thinned out quite a bit. A few of the guys turned off and a few have just got burnt off to be perfectly honest. We've been riding fairly strongly together and the point I just wanted to, to, to touch on is how you change on the front. Now Martin's in front of me here and you watch him, he's, a, he's an experienced rider and he changes tight to the guy that he's coming over the top of. So his rear wheel is just in front of the front wheel of the guy who he's going to be in front of. Now watch what Jamil does. Boom. Typical Jamil. More strength than he, uh, he knows what to do with, and he's getting a, a, a you know he's getting chewed out by Brett there. So what's he done? He's come through and he's kept riding hard, and uh, that means that he's left a big gap in front of me. And what it also does is it pulls through the guy that's on his wheel, and it just ramps up the pace on the group. So it's just something you've got to watch. And again there, Martin, nice and tight. You've almost got to be pulling across when your back wheel is level with the front wheel of the guy in front. The guy that you're overtaking, he should be aware of your, where your back wheel is coming from and he, uh, he should be uh, fine. And look, Jamil gets it spot on this time and uh, Brett's hands are firmly on the handlebars. No abuse this time round. So it's just something that makes a little bit of difference to the group. It just means that you're using more watts and again you know at the end of the day the guy that wins races is the guy that's freshest at the end it's not necessarily the strongest guy in the bunch so you know if you can um look after each other when you're you're in a break or just when you're out training like this uh yeah it's going to help so the other thing i just wanted to talk about was riding smooth on hills this is a bit of an issue for this group there's one hill on this ride and it's not even that much of a hill. So here we are again. You probably remember this from the footage from last week. It's just starting to ramp up here. And we've all talked about it before we went off. You know, we're going to ride it stay together. What's happened? Jamil's kicked off the front. Cam can't help himself. He's attacked. We're picking up uh, Brett. He's just up the road. And before you know it, it's all over the shop. And I, I haven't got a rear facing camera on here. But if you could see behind me. There's guys all over the road. It's just going to pieces and we haven't really hit the hill proper here. Now, it's not hard to ride 
in a group, continuing to ride through and off, up a hill. You just have to ride to the pace and to the effort of the weakest guy in the group. Now, I'm not the weakest guy in this group. I'm not the strongest, but I'm not the weakest guy in this group. And I'm riding pretty hard here um, just to try and stay with the guys that have clipped off the front. So, you know, I'm, I'm my heart rate's maxed out. Um, Trevor's just come in front of me and he's giving it some beans. You know, we're back up to 600 watts. This is not conducive to helping the weaker guys in the group. And you might say, oh, well, you know, it's just a bit of fun and everyone has a dig on a hill. Yeah, it's fine, you know, but what we're trying to do on this ride is improve our skills at riding in a group. And there will be a time when you're in a race and you're off the front in a breakaway and it's a hilly route. And if you smash the guys in the breakaway with you, you get caught by the bunch because you're burning the guys that you need to be there to help you. And what happened after this, you know, it, it was it was mashed up for you know quite a long time after that, and people were all over the place. So it's something the guys need to work on, and hopefully uh, they'll get it sorted next week. This last little clip that I've just included here is uh, just me being a bit arty, really. I love this road. I mean. It looks fairly boring, doesn't it? It's pan flat, it's open, um, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it kind of sums up uh, the north of Essex for me. Hard riding on flat roads, we were tonking it down here. It was uh, a lot of fun, into the setting sun. It kind of looks a bit arty on the film as well. Um, it's nice to see uh, Jamil's uh, Le Claire uh, kit uh, lit up for, uh, in that way as well. It's uh, just a cool sight and um, I suppose for me it just kind of sums up these rides they're they're hard um but they're a lot of fun there's a lot of good guys out on them and uh yeah you should come along so uh there we go so just finished the uh Tuesday night chain gang really good ride for the lads good strong efforts much smoother than last week and hey i stayed in which is always a plus Now just time to get home, get some food. Start editing this for you fellas. <laughs>